everyone, you know, I think at this point knows don't give your dogs chocolate because um, it can have some pretty serious health consequences. The milk chocolate you tend to get in Halloween candy, uh, less so compared to, you know, that the dark chocolates or the cocoa powders, but definitely still has the, the potential for some decent stomach upset there. Something not all people might know about is artificial sweeteners are incredibly toxic to dogs as well. Um, xylitol, sorbitol being the ones that you hear about the most, and they are an artificial sweetener. You see it in sugar-free peanut butters, but also just about every sugar-free gum will contain those artificial sweeteners that are incredibly toxic to dogs. And if they do ingest any, it is something that it's you kind of need to get them to, to a veterinarian ASAP, and it is quite a bit of a medical emergency depending on how much yeah, I think that's just the general rule in place there. Just keep the candy bag away from the dog. And that can be uh, harder than you think. So lock it away. Pretend the yes. dog is like a child. You got to put it in a dog safe place exactly. there so they don't get to it. Now, I know a lot of people do love to, you know, dress up their dogs for Halloween and maybe take them out. But this can actually cause some real stress to dogs. Absolutely. It's it's a bigger, busier night for foot traffic anyway. Tons of people are out and around. Kids are out and around. If your dogs aren't necessarily used to groups of young children, there's a lot more shrieking that would typically happen. Uh, you, more cars driving around. It's just a busier environment for them, which can be unsettling to them anyways. You add in that these shrieking children and groups of people are now wearing costumes that a lot of them are, you know, they're designed to be big or bulky or they're bright shapes. They're just things that the dogs aren't used to seeing. So you pair that with, we've got a busier environment. They're a little bit on edge anyways from that to now, a, you know, a shape that they've never seen before is walking down the street towards them. It just can be quite a stressful experience for them. So we do always kind of warn people, you know, unless you, you really know how your dog is going to be, maybe do a, a tester around the neighborhood before Halloween with the kids with the costume on. And if the dog's being, you know, showing any signs of anxiety or not wanting to belong with you, leave them at home. It's safer for everyone that way. And same thing with, with cats, you know, maybe you let your cat out in the backyard around the house sort of thing. Um, but definitely wanting to keep all your pets inside on Halloween night, just the amount of people out, the foot traffic, the cars going by, there's just so much more potential for, for injury and them to be stressed out. And unfortunately there is also the, uh, the aspect of black cats on Halloween and people unfortunately not not great to them sometimes and so especially if you have a black cat wanting to keep them keep them at home because there is that possibility unfortunately um, but people you know might not always think about how many more people their their dogs would be encountering on a walk and how different those people will look compared to to normally it could be quite a stressful experience for them.